Welcome to our short Sanofia tutorial on standards and frameworks and non-financial information reporting. First of all, it is important to say that there is no universal textbook definition for these concepts. The following definitions are not claiming to set a standard or to be complete by any means. Much more they are supposed to help trainers and participants to reflect the reporting environment. Lines between concepts sometimes are blurry and it is not important to find definite labels. The definitions are meant to help understanding similarities and differences in terms of structure, function, hierarchy and interdependence in the context of non-financial information reporting. More generally formulated, they are supposed to help understand the purpose and function of the different concepts. Political agenda is what we consider as a set of rules, ideas or beliefs that are mostly drawn up by values. It has a guiding function at a higher level and therefore only provides broad orientation and classification. Political agenda can be an impulse for non-financial info information reporting by companies and frequently the reporting is linked back to, for example, action plans. Examples for political agenda relevant for non-financial information reporting are the Sustainable Development Goals, the EU CSR strategy and national action plans. An operating standard is a set of requirements, guidelines or char characteristics based on industry requirements. As the name says, it has an operational function in terms of a practical application for processes, materials, products or services. Most operating standards by their nature are highly specific concepts. In the non-financial reporting, they are subject of um, reporting and frequently quoted to comply with certain disclosure obligations. Sometimes they are referred to as a reference for key performance indicators within reporting frameworks and therefore can shape those. Examples for operating standards in the context of non-financial information reporting are the ISO 14001 or the OHSAS 18000 and the SA 8000. A reporting framework is drawn up from a set of subjects, indicators and measures. Reporting frameworks are inspired by values and based on requirements, therefore providing a linkage between operating standards and political agenda. They have an information function, which they fulfill by categorizing, compiling and summarizing data. Examples for reporting frameworks in the context of non-financial information reporting are the UN Global Compact, the Global Reporting Initiative, or as a national framework, for example, the German Sustainability Code. The pyramid of hierarchies depicts the relationships and flow of information between the different concepts explained before. Two things are especially important to point out there. The levels and outcomes for each of the concepts. One example for outcomes is the EU Directive. As a product of a political agenda, it now influences reporting standards. At a first impression, this hierarchy might look a bit complicated. But if you look at the single connections, most of it is common sense. For example, that a political agenda produces actions plans and laws, or that management policies will affect processes at business level. The hierarchy shows how reference frameworks create a connection between the political and the business level. The different cycles have the effect that the political decisions trickle down to business level and business level practices can find their way up into the political agenda. The graphic of the intersections is a simplified scheme in order to help understand the intersection between the different concepts. Of course, reality is more complex as companies usually apply more than one operating standard and even those multiple operating standards will not cover all the information. Also, depending on the materiality analysis, different information will be disclosed under the same reference framework. This can be true for different companies, but also for the same company over time. 